Hello guys, you're welcome to See and Talk. In here we talk about stories and politics, entertainment, celebrity gossips and general gossips. And to all of my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. I truly do appreciate. And for those of you yet to subscribe, please and please show me some love by subscribing to the channel and also clicking on the notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a video. So the headline for today reads, Pastor Adeboye breaks his silence on Koza rape allegation. He gives more shocking revelations. So the story begins, the general and overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, has reacted to the recent rape allegations leveled against the founder of the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Koza, Pastor Biodun Fatoyimbo, and a few other men of God. Recall that on June 28, wife of singer Timi Dakolo, that's the wife of the, the wife, his wife is Busola Dakolo, in an explosive interview accused Pastor Fato Yimbo of raping her when she was 17. She has since denied, sorry, he has since denied the allegation and stepped aside as senior pastor of his church following public outcry. The Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, PFN, and the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, have both distanced themselves from Fato Yimbo, saying he is not their member. Hmm. Speaking at the church's monthly all-night service, that is the Redeemed Christian Church of God's monthly all-night service, which held at the campground along Lagos Ibadan Expressway yesterday, July 5th, Pastor Adeboye said, We have a president in PFN as well as in Cannes. Whatever they say is what I have said. But I feel compelled to say something to those of us who are young and upcoming ministers of God. Everything I will say is from the Bible. So if you want to criticize what I have said, you have to criticize the Bible. Now the number one is, it is written, there is hidden that shall not come to the open. Mark 4.22 It doesn't matter how long you think you have done something and that it is covered and it will never come to the open. Then you can go and throw away your Bible because the one who said there is nothing hidden that will not come to the open is the truth himself and that is Jesus Christ. Nothing hidden that will not be made manifest. Then number two, he says, Sooner or later, according to Numbers, that's the Bible, Numbers 32, verses 23, your sin will find you out. Wow. Hmm. It is sure. If you have given your life to Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus will wash away all your sins. But after you gave your life to Jesus, you continue in sin under the guise of grace. As the Lord leaves, your sin will find you out. Man, this is very strong. Then number three, he also says, the Bible says, you must abstain from every appearance of evil. And then he makes the Bible reference, 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 22. The elders say that what you are not going to eat do not smell avoid every appearance of evil avoid it then number four he said the bible says if the devil comes to you comes to your face it says resist the devil and he will flee from you and then he made a reference to the bible he said in second timothy Chapter 2, verses 22. When you find yourself facing useful lust, the Bible says flee, which means run as a terror. When you see a sister smiling at you in a funny way, run. As in run. <laughs> Don't say I am a great man of God and I am highly anointed. They will say I am old-fashioned. I agree. 
That is what they called me when I said I will never have a private secretary who's a woman. This is um, Pastor Deboye saying now, talking now. No, my private secretary has to be a man. Listen to me, my brothers. When a woman accuses you of something, nobody is going to listen to you. Nobody. They will listen to the woman. Hmm. When you demand for a witness, the lady will reply, do they invite people to such things? When you say, how can it be me? Everybody will say, how come it is you that she has mentioned of all the men? Wow. I am old fashioned. I was ordained in 1975. It is better to be old fashioned and live than to be modern and die, he said. So that's the end of the news. Um, um, now, I'd like to hear from you people, okay? I'd like to hear your thoughts, your comments on this. Right now, I think I'm beginning to pity, um, that's the Koza pastor, Pastor Bjorn Fato Yimbo, okay? Now, this is an accusation leveled against him. As much as it sounds like, okay, he did it, Somehow it also sounds like he's innocent. I'm not, I'm not going to be supporting the woman that's um, Dimi Dakolo's wife. Neither will I support Fato Imbo himself. Okay, but time will tell. I believe time will tell and we'll get to know if this is really true. If he really did that or, you know, if he did not. I, right now, I, I, let me just hold on to my, to my judgment, okay? But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And please and please do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video to your friends. Thank you for supporting. Bye-bye.